Well, this here is uh, of course a tardigrade, also known as a water bear or moss piglet. And today I want to check whether those tardigrades are able to survive uh, drying out. So I'm going to dry the tardigrade under my microscope slide and then, then I'm going to basically wake it up again back to life uh, by adding a little bit uh, of uh, water again. Hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. And uh, maybe you've already seen my previous video uh, on tardigrades. So if you're interested, interested in, in observing those little critters uh, yourself then please watch uh, my other video where I actually showed you how to catch them from moss and today I want to do a little experiment uh, I want to, to actually test whether those tardigrades are really able to survive dryness because those tardigrades are known to be extremely resilient um, they are not able to survive extreme temperatures uh, but also radiation and as a matter of fact uh, they have also been able it has been shown that they were also able to survive even space because they actually went up to space with a space shuttle some time ago. Well here we've got a little tardigrade uh, running around. I think it might be a pollen grain. I'm not quite sure uh, but it does not matter. It found this uh, little circular structure and it was running around it a little bit and right now I am actually drying it and you can see how the water starts to evaporate and pull in and the tardigrade it was moving around so quickly before starts to shrivel up and shrink in size and also the central round structure that it clung to all the shrinks in size and then yeah it looks pretty not like a tardigrade anymore but actually pretty dead um, so what I've uh, done is the following I added a little bit of water again and then I wanted to check whether I'm able to resurrect it back uh, to life again of course this was possible and it should not surprise us because of course those tardigrades they live on moss and moss also sometimes starts to dry out and then when it rains again then the moss starts to grow again and soak up the water and also the tardigrades that are on the moss they will also uh, come back uh, to life again so that is again a, a the picture of this dried up uh, little tardigrade which really doesn't look like a tardigrade anymore at all um, it's completely deformed um, and uh, what I'm doing right now is, is I'm adding water so you can actually see the water here um, and you can also see the tardigrade um, again swell up and gain in size a little bit as it soaks up the water and also the central round structure that the tardigrade clung to also this uh, swells up back uh, to its original size again um, and then I had to wait a few minutes um, and as a matter of fact I did a little bit of time-lapse video now because I wanted to see does it start to move again and sure enough it started to slowly grow in size and swell up and then slowly it started to, to move again and then after a couple of minutes it was running around <laughs> this round structure again just like before probably the tardigrade was thinking well it's an infinitely large space that I am in because I was always running around in a circle yeah but uh, as a matter of fact uh, this is uh, what you see right now it uh, you can see that uh, woke up uh, back to life again and uh, after a couple of minutes uh, it was as uh, active um, as before running around again um, in, in on the circle on the structure thinking that it's yeah it's got all the freedom in the world not knowing that it's actually going around okay and yeah that's uh, quite a, an interesting uh, little experiment uh, that I did of course one can, can expand on this and try maybe um, all the same thing by applying a little bit of heat maybe or by freezing it and then actually seeing whether um, it's able uh, to survive that or by adding more or less pressure this could be another little experiment yeah uh, those tardigrades after all are very resilient so I tried it again look um, here it is uh, uh, again and it's uh, starting to shrink again so I tried it a second time um, the structure um, the round structure again started to, to lose shape again a little bit and also the tardigrade started to, to shrink up again you can also see a little bit how the water is evaporating from the side and how it is actually drawing in towards the center and i'm focusing back and forth a little bit so that you can see also the different levels yeah and here we are again yeah you see it's becoming smaller and smaller and smaller shrinking and shrinking and shrinking yeah and it's again in its dormant state and I think that the tardigrades are able to withstand quite a long time um, in this dormant uh, state um, and then I again added a little bit of water so I did this right under the microscope I was very careful with a small um, yeah, dropper I added a little bit of water um, and then as the water started to flush over the slide um, it started to, to revitalize the tardigrade again so I'm going to show this uh, to you now let's wait a few minutes I'm still waiting a little bit for it to 
completely dry out i wanted to make absolutely sure that the tardy grid is now completely dry and uh, as a matter of fact you can now see um, again from the bottom uh, from the bottom right that there is now the water um, approaching and it's slowly moving forward and it's now soon gonna touch uh, the tardigrade let's see let's see yes now it touches it and it's swelling up again as you can see that is real time by the way so I'm not uh, doing time-lapse here yet um, and you can see the tardigrade is now again swelling up and also the central structure which looks like a pollen grain but I don't know I'm not so sure about that because it, there are some features that does not make it appear like a pollen. This uh, pointed structure you see that's a, a leaf of a moss by the way on the side okay so there is this a moss leaf also passing by yeah and after a couple of minutes um, it started to gain again a little bit in size um, and uh, this is now real time because I also want to show you how, that this process is actually uh, not quite as fast. It's actually quite a, a slow and gradual process. Um, and as it is slowly swelling up, um, it's slowly starting uh, to move again. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it was running around uh, just uh, just like before. Well, at this time, I would like uh, to, of course, thank also my Patreon supporters uh, for making videos like this possible. Would like to invite you uh, over to also visit visit uh, my other YouTube channel which has a similar name it's called uh, microbe hunter microscopy where I'm more talking more about the, the microscope hardware and the technology and please do also check uh, out uh, the links uh, below in the description and yeah and now you can actually see that the tardigrade is coming back uh, to life um, again and yeah you can repeat this experiment over and over and over again this also explains now how tardigrades are able to survive on moss um, even during the dry uh, seasons i wish you all the best happy microbe hunting as always happy tardigrade hunting as always all the best see you around next time bye bye